understand the importance then of following after the word of God. All right, uh, our panelists uh, on my left, Elder Lansing, uh, Elder Lansing Smith, Elder Ricky Smith, Elder Willis, and Elder Wagner. And I said we're going to be, they're going to be backed up by uh, Deacon Kevin and uh, Elder Peace Pond and, uh, and Elder Brooks. All right, uh, well, let's start with Elder Wagner. Praise the Lord, church. Praise the Lord. So praise the Lord again. Praise, praise the Lord. 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 Good to be in the house of the Lord one more time. And yes. I thank God for the great prophet of the Lord, giving honor to Jesus Christ and truly the head of my life. Amen. Yeah. And thank God again for our great prophet and spirit yeah. of Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Prophet Ed Walker, everyone standing up for the truth of God's word. And I give honor to all the hierarchy of the church. It's good to be here. Yeah. It's yeah. truly a blessing to be under the true man of God, to know steadfastness, yeah. to know that you've got to hang in there. I mean, there's no way you can be saved without hanging in there. You know, the grace is not given to the swift, but to them who endure until the end. Yes, yes. You can't endure to the end just doing everything you want to do. You've got to be obedient to the Word of God. But then I found out when I came to true life, everything I thought I knew, I had to take <coughs> stuff away. I was going to a Baptist church, amen, I was going to a uh, non-denomination, and they were doing anything they wanted to do. As long as you came in and filled a collection basket, it seemed like everything was all right. But my Bible is teaching me that you've got to be holy. I didn't know that. The Bible says, follow peace with all men and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. If you start this race, why not start it right? No sense in just going to church just because it's a church. They got a nice choir, man. Go to church because you got somebody like the prophet. I tell you, you got somebody who tell you what says the Lord. And as it's been said before, and it's very true, we have a Moses among us, church. Amen. Amen. So we got Moses on us. And that's something to be glad about. Amen. Because you know what Moses did. Moses told them if they follow him, they'll reach the promised land. Bishop Walker tells us if we just do what he tells us to do, according to the scriptures, we'll reach the promise. And that's why we're here. Yeah. Why go to church without going to go to heaven? So I thank God again for our great prophet. Again, as he said before, no sodomite, no unclean person. One scripture in the Old Testament said they won't be there. Amen. Yes. They won't be there, but true light will be there. Share with the church uh, uh, something that happened this past week. You know, uh, I had to call a prophet with a small problem, and and um, you know, he, he, he kind of took me to the side. He said, "Elder," he said, "You know, these things happen." And he told me about a time when when uh, you know different times when things would happen to him. And he said, "You know what? We have to stay steadfast. We have to keep on going. We can't just uh, worry about you know this and worry about that and let things overtake you." And and, uh, you know, uh, the prophet is very wise if you just listen to him. Yes, the prophet has a lot of knowledge to give us. Yes, and I want to uh, go into Acts, the second chapter. And uh, I believe I want to start out around verse 42. Now, this is just after uh, Peter being given the authority to, to speak to the people on the Amen. day of Pentecost. Amen. And uh, he'd already given them the plan of salvation. Now he's telling them how to continue on. He said, he said they continued daily in the apostles' doctrine. He said, fasting in the, in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking bread and in prayer. Then they continued steadfastly in the, in the apostles' doctrine. In other words, they, they, they didn't just uh, say, well, I'm saved, and then go on down the road. No, they continued. They said, well, we're going to do this every day. We're going to keep on having church. I'm so glad we have church every day in true life. Amen. 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 In other words, they, they, they were firm in what they were doing. They, they kept on and kept on. In other words, they didn't back down. They didn't turn, one didn't turn the other way. One didn't turn the other way. No, they all were in the unity of one spirit, steadfast in the apostles' doctrine. Amen. So, you know, we have to be steadfast, but we have to be in a doctrine. And that's what we preach here in True Life is a doctrine or the apostles' doctrine. And I'm so glad we're led under a true prophet for that doctrine. Amen. 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 So he says, the same day we're having about 3,000 souls. So he, he's, he's talking to all these people. And he's telling, trying to tell them, look, there's a way to do things. There's a way not to do things. But never give up. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I say, praise the Lord, true life. Praise the Lord. Giving on to Christ, who is my life. All honor to our great prophet. Praise the Lord. 
great apostle, one prophet, is Walker. Yes. 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 Walker. Yes. 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 Be very high to the prophet love for his work. Say thank God for Bishop yes. Shiloh. Yes. 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 Walker Butler. Yes. 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 Now to all the preachers of the gospel, all the Harkin Church, all the visitors, yes. and the YouTube viewers. Amen. The prophet uh, opened up. And he spoke about being steadfast, and I want to go to the book of 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, right from verse 13, 15. And it says, Therefore, brethren, or church, stand fast and hold. Praise God, when you hold something, you, got, you have a grip, amen. You got to hold, amen. Hold the traditions which you have been taught, amen. How they know about a preacher and how should he preach something he's been sent, amen. And been taught, whether by word or our epistle, amen. The veil covering has been taught, amen. It's a tradition from Judaism, man. We hold fast to the veil covering, amen. We hold fast to the tradition of one man and one woman being married, amen. That's a tradition of the Bible, amen. We hold fast to raising our kids in holiness, amen. Not with MTV and VH1, praise God. We hold fast to traditions of having babies, amen. We don't believe in killing babies in true life, amen. amen. We hold fast to teaching holiness. The Bible says, without which no man shall see the Lord, amen. Many of you, the Bible says to study. So it's up to prove. Many of you do not study the word of God. Therefore, when a teaching comes with being steadfast, or when you see the daughter of Zion out and about, at the Walmarts or such, with the veil coming on, you confuse that man because your pastor has not been sent by God. But our pastor, Papa Walker, has been sent by God. Amen. Amen. How do you know? Because you line up the spiritual leader against the word of God. Amen. You have to line him up. Driving the car almost 20 years old. Amen. Not living in the mansion. Praise God. Amen. Ain't taking no medication. Amen. 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 Oh, that's a true man of God, a true yeah. character. Married to, no, I can't forget that. Married to one woman for yeah. 50 years, amen. Yeah. 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 So these are some of the traditions we hold dear in true holiness, amen. And to come in out of darkness into the mountain's life, first of all, we have to take on humility and then be water baptized in Jesus' name and then sit under a teacher and be taught, amen. Amen. Yeah. Oh. Christ was in my life, our great God, uh, the creator of all things, Father and creation, Son of redemption, Holy Ghost and dwelling, and all true believers, I give all honor due to our great and fearless leader, Apostle, yeah. Apostle Mr. Lady Mother Walker, in Jesus' name, Please. to our sister overseer, Prophet Wagner, and our hair designer, Mr. Marcus Wagner, and all those on the panel today, we're talking about being steadfast. I want to go to Hebrews chapter 3, verse 12. It says, Take heed, brethren, talk to the church. Lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief and departing from the living God. Unbelief is the same thing as disobedience. And the, um, I believe the prophet wrote a book that says, Some shall depart. Paul said in the last days, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits. And uh, the biggest seducing spirit you see today is that sodomite and lesbian spirit, Amen. which has even spread to Washington through uh, President Obama, who the prophet teaches. Is the beast revealed in Revelation? Amen. The 13th chapter. I believe the Bible talks about spiritual wickedness in high places. But it says, but exhort one another daily while it's called today. Today means while the church is still here, while the prophet is still here, while the Holy Ghost is still here, while the truth is still here. Once the church is gone, there's not going to be any stabilizing force for the people to turn to. Let's enter you be heartened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast. Until the end, confidence means our lifestyle, our confidence in our leader. Uh, we can put all our confidence in the prophet of God because he's kind, tested, and battle proven. Man, we've been standing back many times, but he never swayed from the apostles' doctrine, the truth of God's word, uh, the baptism in Jesus' name. The veil cover is not popular, but it's right. Amen. We're not worried about. We're not the popular church. Amen. We're the holy church. We're the, the doctrinal church. Amen. We're yeah. the church that's rooted and grounded. And you got to be steadfast until the end. You can't give up because people don't want to accept the truth. You got to keep praying and pressing. Paul said, "I haven't made it yet, but he's pressing toward the mark." And you can't press toward the mark when you're in a false church with false doctrine. So we thank God for true life and the true prophet of God that's exhorting the word and the truth of faith. Amen. 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 I thank the panel for those words, and I want to uh, further 
express 